Saudi cap everybody, it's not in Thailand here. And we are at the Margarita Storm here on uh, Sukhumvit 11, I believe it is. Sukhumvit 11, Sukhumvit 13, I can never remember which one. And you know what, it's right here in front of me. Sukhumvit 13, just, just pay attention to the signs now. So uh, Bangkok traffic is getting busy again. Do not listen to anyone who tells you what it was. They're crazy, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Bangkok is getting busy again. Okay, I ordered a, a mojito for myself, just waiting for that to arrive. So, what are we talk about today? Today we're going to talk about the difference between Bangkok and Chiang Mai as a destination for digital nomads. So which is better? Uh, is one better than the other? Or is it just different, you know? Um, is it just different, for, you know, depending on your needs? So uh, let's just go into the details, like um, what are things that you kind of, you know, would make a comparison on, like budget, um, efficiency, and uh, just, you know, your overall, your overall general um, enjoyment of the city. So uh, I think they're both on par with each other with regards to budget, if I'm honest, like, uh, you know, I came out to live in Bangkok in 2019 and I had been, I'd lived in Chiang Mai two years prior to that and I find that I spend on average with the same amount of money every month in Bangkok as I do when I'm in uh, Chiang Mai. My budget is roughly about 55,000 baht a month. And I spend about that whether I'm living in Chiang Mai or Bangkok. It's really, really um, no different. Oh, here's my drink now. Thank you very much. Cup and cup. I ordered a nice mojito. Thank God it's Friday. So, um, as I was saying, yeah, um, I was spending about 55,000 baht, regardless of whether I'm in um, Chiang Mai or Bangkok. Now, Bangkok is more expensive to go out, you know, eating out, all that kind of thing. It's a more expensive city. But where you save money in Bangkok is the infrastructure. I just can't do a bike here in Thailand. I just can't do it. You know, uh, I'll show you something I've seen just actually today. Earlier on today, on the BTS on the way out here, I just heard a big crash. And I looked down and basically a, uh, a guy on a, a bike was under the wheel of a bus. So um, just you just see that stuff all the time, like, you know? And like a lot of the time, it's not your fault if you're on the bike, like it's just, you the people on the road aren't looking at what they're doing. They're not paying attention to what they're doing. So um, it's just not something I want to deal with. I'd much rather spend 70 or 80 baht or whatever it is to get a taxi or whatever it is on a, on a BTS. And when you're living in Chiang Mai, that basically means you're getting a taxi everywhere. And taxis are a little bit more expensive there than they are here in Bangkok. So, uh, you know, there's no BTS, there's no metro, there's no, uh, well, there's no rivers. So, you know, you need a riverboat type of thing. You have the river ping, but, you know, generally speaking, you don't use the rivers to get around like you would over here. In, uh, sorry, like you would here in Bangkok. So, uh, in Bangkok, like I said, you have the BTS. I would put a thousand baht a month on my BTS card and that just does me for the entire month. The entire month, I can go pretty much anywhere I want in Bangkok, anywhere that I'm interested in going anyway. And, um, you know, I don't use the Metro that, that much. I, you know, I think I put two in the bat a couple of months ago and I still have most of it, like, you know, so it's, it's not very often I would use that, but it's an option, like it's there for you if you need it. You know, you can get the BTS to still it if you want to. You can get the Metro to Don Wong if you want to. Pretty soon you'll be able to get the BTS to, to, Don, to Don Wong. So, uh, you know, like you can use public transportation out here and it's really, really cheap. But like the infrastructure is the big thing here. Like, you know, like I said, I spent about a thousand baht a month here. I was spending eight to 10,000 baht a month in Chiang Mai. Um, what else is uh, different over here? Like, you know, your my, my condo that I'm living in here is 9,000 baht a month. I was spending 15,000 baht last year, but I think I was overpaying there. At the moment, you're getting great deals out here in the Silicon Road area. And like I said, it's right on the Silicon Road line. Couldn't be more convenient. And um, it's like 9,000 baht a month. The condo I was living in in Chiang Mai last time was 7,000 baht. Okay, it's a little cheaper, but you don't have any amenities. That was just a room. There was no pool, there was no gym, you know, there was no roof guard, none of that. It was literally just a kind of a condo. Now, it was a great condo. Um, it was very spacious had a little desk where I could work in. You know, that was that was nice. It's the one thing I don't have here that I really need. But um, 
I think if you looked around here, you'd find a place in around 10 to 12,000 baht that would have a co-working space inside the building. So uh, it's really just more my fault that I didn't insist on, on, on looking for a place like that. I didn't hold out for it. Um, what is uh, the other things? Like, uh, so like nightlife here in Bangkok is obviously a hell of a lot more vibrant than it is in Chiang Mai. And uh, the Chiang Mai nightlife, like I like it. Like it's, it's to my taste because it's very much based on live music. There's a lot of discos. You can get live music here in Bangkok as well, but you know, it's mostly, you know, clubs and, you know, discos and all that kind of stuff dance music it's not really my thing i'd much rather the uh, the live music scene in chiang mai to here in, in, in bangkok but the problem with chiang mai is that it closes very early it closes at like 12 o'clock most of the places some places are open till one but even that's pretty early like you know if you're if you're out and you're having a good time you don't want to go home at one o'clock chiang mai you kind of don't really have a choice here in bangkok you can be out all night if you want you know you can stay out until the next morning this place in particular you know i'll just show you See, open 24 hours, you know? There are places here in Bangkok where you can literally just stay out all night, like, you know? You don't have that option in Chiang Mai. So from a, um, you know, an entertainment perspective, Bangkok has it over Chiang Mai. Not even just the, the, the nightlife thing, but also, you know, if there's something on, it's gonna be on in Bangkok. You know, if, say, you know, you're into concerts, if there's a touring rock band coming to Bangkok, coming to Thailand, they're gonna to come to Bangkok. Like for example, Foo Fighters were a couple of years ago. Green Day were played in Bangkok in 2020, just before the, um, the, you know, the COVID lockdown. And uh, Dave Chappelle came January of that year also. Uh, John Cleese was supposed to do a show here last month. I think it was canceled because of Omicron. But like just a bunch of stuff like that. Like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna be in Bangkok. It's, you know, very rarely will it be on somewhere else. Every now and again, you'll get something like the New Year celebration in Phuket, where you had Andre Bocelli come over. But most of the time, we'll be in Bangkok. Um, so there's that. Um, then let's talk about the efficiency. Oh, very loud here now. All of a sudden, the efficiency of. Uh, working shall we say i would give that to chiang mai um chiang mai has so many co-working spaces and uh, just really good cheap alternatives to uh the monthly pass like, there's very few places here in bangkok that do a monthly pass or sorry a daily pass for a co-working space uh, most of them are just did they want the monthly subscription off you um and the day pass can be quite expensive here in chiang mai you can go to a place and just buy a coffee and that allows you to work there they'll allow you to work there all day with just purchase of one coffee so 70 baht you can go to work like you know and they'll give you your wi-fi pass it's usually good for like a set number of hours like four hours or something like that just buy another coffee if you really need wi-fi i would normally just use my hotspot but you know to each drawn so uh the other thing as well is that the co-working spaces in chiang mai do tend to be more uh, aimed at a younger um, user you know over here they're very corporate in bangkok and um, that's not a bad thing but you know a lot of people will be of the opinion you go to work to work you're not going there to have a good time i think you can do both you know i think you can kind of create a fun environment that's that's cool to kind of go to as well as knuckle down and get your work done in chiang mai they kind of have a lot of options you can go the corporate route you can go the i want to chill and, and work like route I, if I was to make a comparison, I would say that Chiang Mai has more of a, um, a student feel to it, whereas Bangkok is just, it's all about the work. Um, it's mostly it, like, um, you know, it really just depends on what you want. You know, if you want the excitement of a, you know, a vibrant and happening city, you want to be in Bangkok. If you like the chilled out vibe of a, you know, kind of a more of a, a college type of atmosphere, You'll want Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is really easy going. It's very laid back. Um, it's a nice, slow moving city. Um, I can see myself settling down in Chiang Mai at retirement age, but at the moment, I prefer the, uh, the buzz of Bangkok over Chiang Mai. Okay, so I think that's, that's that. Um, like the biggest thing I want people to take away from this video is, you know, if, if, if you're going with Chiang Mai purely for budget, I wouldn't, I don't think that's a good way to think because it's, it's not really cheaper. You know what I mean? Like uh, Bangkok, you have the option of spending as much as you want. You can get a condo here that will be 200,000 baht a month, you know, and it will be beautiful, but it will be very expensive. But you can get one here for five, 6,000 baht a month also. 
It really does depend on what you want and you know what you're what you're comfortable with. If you only want to spend five, six thousand baht in Chiang Mai, you'll get the same kind of condo. You know, it'll be another cramped place that's you know uh, probably a little bit out from the city and you know maybe doesn't have the best infrastructure, maybe doesn't have the best facilities. Um, you know, your options are very similar on the budget end. The difference is that in Bangkok you can spend more if you want to. All right. Okay. Um, I'll leave this here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all soon. Cheers.